Hello, my name is George Castro, and I'm going to show you the easy way to get up and running with Kubernetes with the canonical distribution of Kubernetes. So the first thing you need to do is install Juju, sudo apt install Juju. I've already done that here, so uh, there's nothing for me to do here. Um, then you want to figure out where you want to run Kubernetes, so we can type Juju clouds. This will give us a list of all the clouds uh, that we can deploy Kubernetes on. And we can also Juju update clouds which you might want to run every once in a while, and this will just fetch all the latest clouds. So when a cloud launches a new region or something like that, you want to do an update cloud so Juju knows that there's a new cloud for you to deploy on. Then the next thing you need to do is add your credentials to whatever cloud you want to deploy on. So we do this with Juju add credential. In this case, let's say I want to do AWS. I do AWS. And then in here, I will just follow the directions, and it will prompt you for your access key and your secret key and all that kind of stuff. If you set up clouds before, you're pretty familiar with processes like that. You can also just juju auto load credential. And it will grab all the keys that you have set up on your system. So if you have your AWS keys, your Azure keys, and so on, your Google Cloud keys in the default places, we'll just auto load those and load them into juju automatically for you. After that, you're all set up and you're ready to what we call bootstrap a controller. So what we're going to do is do juju bootstrap, the cloud we want to be on, and then the region we want to be on. Let's just do US East 1. And we will call this controller Cubes Demo. The controller uh, is the machine that's going to do all the actual work of handling things like the model. So what we're going to do here is this is a model of Kubernetes that's expressed in YAML. And the controller is going to execute this model on AWS and deploy it for us. So each of these represents an application, and that can go on a certain number of machines, and we'll be able to horizontally scale and add things to this model and whatnot. So what's happening now is Juju asks the cloud for a machine, and whatever cloud you're on, in this case AWS, will go get us a machine, We'll install the OS automatically for you. We'll do the updates. We'll put the right keys on there for you. Basically, all the things that you would do to get a machine, uh, we will do that automatically. And once we get that running, we will execute this bundle. And then we'll do the same thing, um, except we'll be deploying Kubernetes on it. So for our Kubernetes deployment, I am going to go over all of the features and everything that it has while this bootstraps. So we're going to give you a three node cluster. Uh, that's with one master and two worker nodes. Uh, so here are the workers, here are the masters. Uh, we use TLS for all inter node communication for security reasons. We're using Flannel for SDN. Uh, we give you a load balancer here. So you could just hit one endpoint and go to where you need to go and an ingress controller and a dashboard, which I'll go into in a separate video. Uh, we're using Easy RSA uh, as a certificate authority. And of course, etcd, we give you a three node cluster uh, so that uh, we use etcd as part of the Kubernetes cluster. And then uh, with this bundle, we feature the Elastic Stack. This gives us two nodes of Elasticsearch and then a Kibana dashboard so you can graph all the things in Elasticsearch. And then if you haven't heard of Beats, these are cool little agents that we've put on every worker node and on the master node. And what these little Beats do is they monitor all the stuff that's going on on those machines, depending on what the, the Beat is configured to do, and then ship those off to Elasticsearch where then we can then use Kibana to graph. The nice thing is, is because the model uh, defines the Beats as defined to each worker and each master, every time we horizontally scale a new worker, Juju is smart enough to make sure that a beats agents are all that stuff is also installed. So that kind of allows you to horizontally scale this entire model um, without having to say, oh no, I've expanded horizontally. I need to make sure that you know all my metrics are gathering is also scaling. It just does that automatically. And later on when we add things like Prometheus, that will apply to monitoring as well. So over here on the left, We've gotten the machine from Amazon. We're installing the agent. We're going to do the, the usual things here to get that up and running. And then we'll fire off Kubernetes. Over the course of the next few videos, I'm going to be going through all of the things that our Kubernetes clusters uh, can do for us. We have example apps for you. We have examples on how you can scale out. We have storage for you via Ceph, um, full network support, 
cool dashboards that we've put together for you and I'm just kinda gonna give you a tour throughout this series of videos this video is really just going to show you how to get up and started so this usually takes as long as the cloud does so it usually takes about 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and come back when that's done which should be in a few minutes Wow, way faster than I thought. Okay, so what we can do now is do is you do status. And everything is empty, which is really good. Um, so I'm going to use a little multiple terminal magic here because what I like to do over here is do something like watch juju status. Uh... That's what I thought. Heck a dash dash color to it. Then what we're going to do is deploy our actual canonical distribution of Kubernetes. And that's merely called canonical dash Kubernetes. So juju deploy canonical Kubernetes. It's going to grab the bundle that's sitting in the store that comes from GitHub. Everything I'm showing you here is free software. And it's going to go ahead and start deploying these bundles. The homepage for this is jujucharms.com slash canonical dash Kubernetes. And it has all these instructions that you need to follow along. So what's happening here on the left is that we're deploying all of these applications. And then Amazon is returning. And this is completed now. Amazon is returning machines for us for each of these services let me just go ahead and kill that there so each of these machines now are getting IP addresses as you see here Amazon is returning machines and we're going ahead and installing the operating system on there doing the updates and then depending on the charm, which each of these applications is represented by a charm, which is the bit of automation code that does the shared operations here. So after we get the machine, we'll put the Juju agent on there real quick. It's nice and lightweight. And then we'll execute the charm as root uh, on each of the machines. So while that's happening, some of these services run on Trusty, some on Xenial. And what we do here is spread the load between different zones. While public clouds, this is a feature that they provide natively, we also do this on bare metal as well. Um, and all we need to do now is wait for uh, the cluster to come up, which usually takes about 15 minutes, depending on the performance of the cloud that's happening. So we'll be back when this is completed. OK, I'm back about halfway. It's been about uh, three minutes since I left you. And as we see here, something that we've really, really taken an effort to is to ensure that these workload statuses tell you exactly what's going on in the deployment of the cluster. So what will happen is, is that as each of these components come up, here's those beats, by the way, uh, installing on the workers. Uh, they will tell you exactly what they're doing throughout the process. So if that's installing software or if it's configuring a certain thing to talk to something else, uh, if it's doing leader election, here we can see this this node here is the leader for the etcd part of the cluster. Um, and as it's installing, it will just sit here and uh, continue to update. So this is a nice thing to kind of stick a watch on, have it, have it sitting on a monitor while your cluster comes up. So it's been about three minutes so far. We'll go ahead and give it a few more minutes and come back and see what happens. Okay, so we're back, and now it's been another, I don't know, eight to ten minutes. And as we see now, the agents are idle, the workloads are now show as active instead of busy, and basically everything says is either healthy or ready across the board. So now I can quit out of the status. So we'll clear here for you. Now we need to make sure that our cluster is running. So the way we do this is when we set up your cluster for you, we build a config for you that you can copy over to your local machine. So what we're doing here is SCPing from Kubernetes master, a file that we've generated for you with your config stuff called dot cube config. That's where we're putting it. So now you have the config locally to you. 
and then following the instructions that I wrote here for the README, uh, we did the same thing with cube control. Uh, we built that on the master for you. So what you're going to do is the machines that you want to control this cluster from, you can just copy those files down. And now your workstation should have the ability to interact with that cluster. And we can do that with just a simple cluster-info. Bam. So now that we know the cluster is up and running, in my next video, I'm going to go over actually doing something with this cluster. So now we got Kubernetes up and running in AWS. Um, it took about 10 minutes total. Not a lot of commands. Everything is up and running. And in my next video, I will show you how to deploy a set of services onto these applications. And then the video after that, we'll probably do some horizontal scaling and show you how to manage Kubernetes with Juju and then have Kubernetes just do the right thing, which it does. So with that, thanks for watching, and we hope you give it a shot. Again, everything you've seen here is free software. You can find it at jujucharms.com slash canonical dash Kubernetes. And we'd be more than happy to get feedback from you, see how you like it, kick the tires, let us know. Thanks.